Did you know that 95% of the thoughts you had yesterday are the exact same thoughts you're gonna have today and the same thoughts you're gonna have tomorrow? Do you wanna know the worst part? 80% of those thoughts are negative for most people. This is what we would call straight out stinking thinking. Now, how do we change stinking thinking? This is really hard and most people can't do it because they've never been given any tools to do it. So my first thing I'm gonna tell you to do is you're gonna have a alarm set to go off every 10 minutes. The alarm you want set, you want to do on a day where you're at work and a day when you're off work. We have to figure out what are the thoughts that we're having on repeat. So every time that alarm goes off, you're gonna immediately write down, what was I just thinking about? Next 10 minutes, what was I just thinking about? It gets monotonous, it gets rigorous, but I'll tell you, you'll figure out really quick where your thought processes go back to and what you're thinking about on a regular basis. Is it finances and is it relationships? Is it fear, is it worry? What, it, what is it? What are our thoughts? What's the main stem for each of them? Once you know what your stem is for the thought processes that are uh, toxic for you or negative for you, now we can figure out how to change it. The first way I love to change thought processes for patients is through adjusting. I know it sounds crazy. Why would chiropractic, how can a chiropractic help change a thought process? Well, here's how. When I have a patient that goes face down and they're getting ready to get adjusted, when they get adjusted, what it does is it causes a pattern interrupt in their nervous system. When you interrupt that pattern and you get a new thought processes that's happening during it, you can start changing the thought. So let's say that theirs is based around love. I don't feel loved. I don't feel accepted. I don't feel worthy, whatever it may be. When they go down and get adjusted, they start the mantra. They start the new thought process in their head. When you adjust, you open new nervous system pathways. And it's those new pathways we're going to start hardwiring in because the nerves that fire together wire together and same things for your thoughts. We have to start putting these thoughts into your nervous system to integrate them. The second thing we're going to do is we're gonna collect evidence. We have to find evidence within our system, within our environment that tells us differently than what we've been thinking. If we feel unworthy, if we don't feel loved, well, guess what? Every time you go home and your kids give you a hug, evidence, my kids love me. Every time you go and roll over and your husband touches your hand in bed, evidence, I'm loved. Whatever it may be, you're gonna start collecting evidence day in and day out. If you're someone that's uh, trying to lose weight, but you're like, I can't lose weight. I've never been able to lose weight. Okay, let's not go there. Here's what we can do. You're gonna to start today by walking for two minutes. The next day, two minutes, two minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, up to 30 minutes. But each day as you collect that time that you've been walking, that you've been working out, you're no longer someone that can't stick to something. You're no longer someone that, that can't stick to a workout regimen because you just collected evidence for 30 days straight that you can do something, you can do something different and you can change those thought processes. And then after you change them, you collect evidence to show yourself that it's true. And only during that can you change that stinking thinking over into a different way to view and think about yourself. It changes you, it changes your identity, it changes who you are and it changes your outcomes. So if you're looking for better outcomes, use this tool to start changing those thoughts and take that negative 80% of your thoughts and put them into an 80% of positive thoughts that's changing who you are.